Social media use is massive in Australia. Almost 9 million people check their Facebook account on a daily basis. Young people are particularly enthusiastic social media users, with nearly 85% of those aged 15 to 24 active in social media. I'm really interested in assessing just what is the impact this could have on public health. So we examined the top 27 junk and beverage brands on Facebook. We were really surprised to see that it took very little incentive for someone to be willing to share a marketing message on behalf of a brand. And they would spread that to all their social networks, seemingly for nothing in return from the company. From our study, it was very clear that young people are more likely to be engaging with these brands on social media. People aged 13 to 24 were liking these brands, posting comments on pages, and sharing these messages through their social networks. I think the biggest problem with our current approach to regulating advertising of junk food and beverages is that we focus solely on television during very young children's viewing hours. We're simply going to miss massive amounts of advertising if we continue to only look at traditional forms of media. As a minimal first step, we absolutely need better monitoring of how junk food and beverages are being advertised on social media. Then we can look at how best to regulate these platforms so that young people aren't continuously bombarded with advertisements for products that are so bad for their health. I think the saturation of junk food and beverage advertising on social media is influencing the dietary choices of young people. We need to do something about it. What do you think?